I, I think I think it's a good fight. I think it's a good fight. Look, people are saying people are saying, you know, oh Jake Paul, uh, you know, he now wants to box and this and that. And well, he's 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 a boxer who just started late. That's basically it. And he had a few fights, and now he's actually stepping up to a fighter who's what twelve and one. Yeah, I believe so. But twelve and one. In the right, but he's twelve and one. But 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 Rockman actually has experience. He actually does come from a, from a, a rich history of of boxing with his father, and so this is like this is a huge step up, and 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 he's doing it right. He really is because we knock him. I mean, I don't knock him, but we knock him because. He's popular. We knock him because he only has what six fights. This will be the six. Six, yeah, five fights. So the fact that he's getting all this attention, I mean, look, it's we can't knock him for that. We have to actually give him praise for stepping up and fighting a, a rockman. So okay, because I asked Bernard the same question, and, and he kind of said like, well, let him rehydrate, and then I'll give you the praise. Like, don't hinder an opponent like don't stack it where it's like in your favor yeah who's uh who's who, who's who's giving the uh advice no the, the the clause who put who put the clause in who put the uh jake did is rockman a big guy uh he's heavyweight coming down oh yeah. oh okay okay that that see i didn't know that oh, okay so that makes a huge difference yeah. i mean i'm not sure how many pounds he can gain after the official weigh-in. Mm -hmm. What is it? Do you know? Uh, I, he has to weigh in 215 uh, the day uh, on that day right. at the second weigh-in, right. and then he could go away in whatever he wants. But what's the official weight at? Uh, I believe guys, 205. We're gonna start the live stream again. If you guys Ooh. can all take your seats. I mean, 10, 10 pounds overnight. 10 pounds overnight for a fighter who uh, is fighting at heavyweight. Is, is, is can be a huge difference. I mean, he can come in, like I said, sluggish. He can come in weak. He can come in, yeah, it's, it's a big difference. So, adva advantage uh, Jake Paul. How much could a rehydration clause affect a fighter coming into a fight? And is it a fair fight when someone puts that in there? I mean, when you're the bigger guy, um, at times you do have to put a rehydration clause where it doesn't affect um, any fighter, it kind of protects them. But uh, yeah, it can it, 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 it can hinder your performance. That's for sure. Um, when I fought Pacquiao, I don't think we even had a rehydration clause. It was just me coming underweight and uh, and feeling weak, um, and that was my fault. But in this case, um, yeah, it, it, it can it can uh, it can it can make you feel sluggish. It can make you feel uh, obviously not performing at your best. So um, I, I strongly feel that, yeah, rehydration clauses are there to protect and also are there to kind of mess with you, mess with your head, to mess with your opponent. You know, so it's it can be an advantage or it can be a disadvantage. In terms of this uh, Gervonta fight, uh, I really think that Ryan has contract with you guys, but not with the zone. So how do you guys navigate to make that fight with Javante? No, look, we have we we promote Ryan and we have a contract with the zone. That's the bottom line. So then, how does the fight get made? In um, the way the see? the way the way Bob Arum made Tyson Fury with uh, with uh, Fox and ESPN, and and that's just the way it gets made. It, it can be done. Mm -hmm. No how, doubt about it. How confident are you that it, it does get done and it doesn't get bogged down? Yeah, I'm confident. I'm, I'm more than confident. We want the fight. That's that's the bottom line. We want the fight. What happens based on how you saw Ryan in that fight with Javante? Uh, we want the fight even more. I mean, that's that's the bottom line. Let's <laughs> let's make it happen for the fall. For the fall? Yeah, Gervonta, Gervonta, uh, Ryan. Let's make the fight. Yeah, he's uh, he's 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 the real deal. I mean. Fonseca, uh, uh, Fortuna has never been knocked out. He's never been down, or you know. And Fortuna told me that he uh, that that Ryan is the hardest puncher that he's ever faced. Mm -hmm. How good is the relationship between you and Ryan moving forward in terms of being a promoter in the long run and things? Uh... Yeah, it's great. It's beautiful. 
Hey, we're, awesome. we're building up the next superstar in boxing. Uh, Thank you so much for watching this video and make sure to subscribe for more videos of your favorite fighters over here on Fight Up TV and give us a follow online as well at Fight Up TV on Twitter and on Instagram. We appreciate it, guys.